Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hey everybody, it's me Kayla Friday and welcome back to my channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin. Today, me and the famous Aunt Penny are on another Junkin adventure. We are checking out for the first time Back 40 Barn Picking in Priceville, Alabama. Um, so we're real close to Decatur um, up in North Alabama. This is our first time checking it out and we're literally driving through a cow pasture which makes us feel right at home. <laughs> So, um, let's go check it out and see what goodies we can find. We're meeting my cousin's wife, Callie, here. And we're just going to have a good day of junking and picking. Farm sweet. <laughs> Probably. Oh, oh. Marla. <laughs> oh, wow. The horses run. That's cute. Off-roading in the Lexus. <laughs> this is Penny's car. Y'all know I'm too poor to afford a Lexus. handsome man out here he's so handsome <laughs> I try <clears throat> my cousin Hunter and his wife Callie
it says 29 I mean 295 we have Wayne. we have a chauffeur today <laughs> with her masks around her thing like all nurses do hang on the sun to bake them Okay guys, that is it for the footage of our shopping trip. I hope you enjoyed it and saw some things that you liked. And without further ado, we're gonna hop right into the haul. I've just got home. It's dark outside. I am a war slap out, y'all. I am telling you, I just can't go like I used to. Oh, I've got my face makeup off. I've got on my lounging pants that you can't even see. <laughs> And I am just got my hair on top of my head and I am just living life, y'all. I am wore out. Junkin' is so fun, but it is definitely, definitely, it will wear you out. <laughs> but we will start with the things that I purchased at the um, actual show. And again, it was called Back 40 Pickin'. It's up in Priceville, Alabama, which is really close to like Madison and Decatur up in North Alabama. And I only purchased a few things. It was a relatively small show. They didn't have a ton of vendors, but they did have some good vendors. Um, not everything was necessarily the type of stuff that I look for, but um, there was all sorts of vendors there. A lot of like art and like hand painted art and things like that, which I really appreciate, but we just don't have a ton of that in our home. Um, but if you're not going just for like vintage or antique -y things, they had a lot of really cool booths that were um, different. So you would probably like it as well. But the first booth that we purchased things from was actually called Milk Maid Creations and Antiques. And it looks like she's all the way from Vienna, Illinois. Um, and she says that she has a Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. So again, Milkmaids, Creations, and Antiques. And she had some really cute stuff. The first thing I purchased is this really sweet little gravy boat. Um, it was $8. But um, if you've watched our spring home tour, you'll know that I have redone my hutch with ironstone that I've been collecting. And I actually have several pieces of this design um, with the gold little paint, gold rim. And I love this because it's really crackly and just has a lot of fun discoloration on it. So I wanted to pick that up. And I also got this really, really cute, sit this right here, 
this really cute little um, apron for Esther Ruth. I thought it would be so sweet for summer. Y'all know I love red, white, and blue, patriotic um, Americana theme for summer. So I thought that would be either precious on her or either hanging on our peg rack in the kitchen. And my favorite thing that I purchased from the show is this old sifter. I absolutely love it. Um, I've been seeing these all over Instagram and Pinterest where people hang them up on the wall. I think it would be really cute um, incorporated into our gallery wall, gallery wall somehow or hanging somewhere in our home. And people are actually using them as a shelf. And this one's really, really sturdy. And I love the lines here on the back from the wire. And I just think it's super cute. So I love this and I wanted to grab it because it was um, a pretty good price. It was $45. That was the most expensive thing I purchased. Um, but I did see more later today at an antique mall for like 70 bucks. So I was pretty happy with the price I paid. But again, I got that sifter, this sweet little gravy boat, and this sweet apron. And the only other thing that I purchased from the show, like I said, it wasn't a huge show, but it was fun. Um, and the scenery was absolutely gorgeous. It was our first time going. Um, and fortunately, our my cousin Hunter, who I grew up with, we're the same age. Everybody always thought we were twins growing up because we both have brown hair, brown eyes. And, or I guess his eyes are more green now. But anyway, <laughs> we looked very similar growing up. And um, we were the same age. And everybody always thought we were twins or brothers and sisters. And we've always been really close. So him and his wife actually live in Madison. So um, we were able to meet up with her and then go meet him for lunch. But anyway, this is the other thing I bought. It says, here it's Sunday morning. WNDA 95.1.8 and then WMSL 1400, which is, okay, I was about to say that's 2 o'clock, but never mind, it's 8.30, so I guess that's just the channel number. Um, look, you can, you can tell I'm a nurse when I'm saying 1400. <laughs> that military time is stamped in my brain forever, but I love this vintage sign and I want to use it on our gallery wall. I'll probably hang it down here at the bottom um, for summer. I think it would be really cute as well for Christmas or for Valentine's Day, anytime that I use pops of red. But I really love this for summer and I'm gonna put it up on the gallery wall. All right, um, the next place that we went, we featured in the video um, was a really cute little store and it was called Vintage 71, I think. Um, I'll post the links below or the um, description, in the description box of the places we went in case you want to check them out. But I did purchase this sweet little dish. And again, it is the same pattern as the others that I bought with the um, gold rim. But I thought this would be really cute for a trinket tray or it would be super sweet to put like a little piece of soap on next to our sink in our bathroom, or obviously just displayed in the hutch, worked in there with our other pieces. But I love that. And I think it was $3. Then, I purchased these really pretty um, brass sconces and I know brass isn't for everybody but I have really been enjoying it lately and I got the pair of them for like eight bucks because they were on sale and I thought they would be really pretty on the gallery wall or either like in our front bedroom uh, or just somewhere in the house but I really really loved it so I grabbed those y'all know I love brass and copper and my favorite piece whoops from there, I was so glad that I got this. I found this for $25. And I know that makes them expensive to some people, but if you're ever out like at Vintage Pickin' or any of the other um, large vintage markets, these vintage watering cans go, they're at least $45, sometimes up to $75. And if you know, you know. So I never buy them, but I found this one today 
for $25 and it is huge. I loved it and I can't wait to put it out on our front porch or either on our back porch or maybe in the flower bed. I don't know, but I just loved it and had to bring it home. All right. We also stopped by um, Highway Pickers in, excuse me, in Coleman, Alabama. And I saw this little jar and I had to have it. It's another Jesus jar. Um, it says it's a vintage Noxzema jar. Um, I paid five bucks for this, but I love the blue for um, 4th of July and for summer. And if you don't know what a Jesus jar is, we found a little green jar. It was featured in our home tour and also in the vintage market days of Birmingham video, the spring market. But um, it was just a little green jar that we found that was super chippy. The lid was broken off of it and she wanted like a dollar for it or something like that. And she was talking about how her husband told her nobody would buy it because of the lid being so chippy and broken and rusted. So I, of course, brought it home, but um, I said it was our Jesus jar because like us as humans, we're very broken, we're very rusty and rough around the edges, but Jesus still sees our worth and sees beauty in our brokenness. So that's why we call it a Jesus jar and I had to pick up this blue one to use for summer. So we're gonna make it a thing. We're gonna find a Jesus jar for every occasion. <laughs> So I bought that at the um, Highway Pickers, and then I bought this sweet little child's shoe mold. I thought it was so cute. I have a adult pair of shoe molds, and I really wanted to get um, a set of these, but all of them were the right foot, but I really did love it, and I thought it would be super cute sitting on top of a book or just, you know, just in a vignette somehow in our home. And that's it as far as my purchases but I did want to share a few things that my precious Aunt Penny gifted me. Um, she went out thrifting last week and she found me these Ironstone beautiful plates. They're blue. They were 99 cents a piece with florals. And then she gave me these gorgeous matching cups. So I thought those would be absolutely perfect for um, summer. And she kept a set as well. And she has very similar taste. And she said, these would be perfect in your hutch. And I said, yes, I definitely want them. So the cups were 99 cents each and the stoneware plate or the ironstone plates were 99 cents each. And she also gifted me this old freezer basket. Um, a lot of people have been using these around their home to style in their vignettes or um, out on their porch, like to put some ferns or some really pretty flowers in. So I had kind of been wanting one, but I just couldn't see paying like $15 for an old freezer drawer. I, I don't know why it bothers me because I spend money on other ridiculous things. <laughs> but um, Penny said, I have some of those in my basement. I'll get you one. And you can always count on it, Penny. So I think I'm gonna put this on my back porch and put some flowers in there. I just love using different baskets and different um, risers and things like that to add texture and just add a little bit of dimension to our vignettes and just to kind of, the, the more cluttered and junky, the more I enjoy it. <laughs> so that is everything that we got today. Um, my favorite thing is, um, obviously I love my Jesus jar. But my favorite other thing that I purchased is probably the sifter. I really have been wanting one of those. And I really uh, just haven't seen any that I wanted to pay for. Um, so like I said, when I saw that one for under 50 bucks, I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, and it is something that I can use for every season. But I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you so much for being a part of the Little Cahaba Junkin family. I hope you're so blessed. Um, and if you haven't already, go ahead and check out our spring home tour. It is also uploaded and just get some ideas um, for the season if you decorate for spring. And in the next coming up weeks, we'll start decorating and transforming our house for summer with a lot of patriotic Americana decor. And also, if you're local or you're anywhere near us on June the 11th, starting at 8 a.m., myself, Aunt Penny, my Aunt Kim, 
and Miss Susan Cornelius, who is um, the curator over at um, Yellow Leaf Antiques, and she also puts on market days on the farm. We're gonna have a good old fashioned um, junk sale. So y'all come out and see us. We're not gonna put a whole lot of effort into staging and things like that. It's gonna be more of a true junk sale. It's gonna be a lot of fun. There's not gonna be like food or anything like that. It's gonna be more just like like I said, a junk sale with just a few vendors and we're so excited. So we're just trying to clean out some things and make some room. So we will definitely cut you a deal. So come out and see us and I will put the information on that below as well. But as always be blessed. God is so good. And no matter what's going on in our country and in our lives, God is still on the throne. He is always present. Even when he seems so distant, he's always there. Jesus never leaves us. He never leaves our side, but sometimes we leave his. So when we lose sight of Christ, we have to always remember it's not him, it's us. So we have to make a conscious decision every day to seek him and just to have him present in our life because he's always there. We just have to reach out and meet him halfway. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you on the next video and happy junkin'.